This game is kind of a, 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 a mixed reality game, they call it, where you have to go to places physically in order to unlock parts of the game. For me, the idea of like going somewhere in order so you could throw Pokeballs uh, at a pocket monster in order to capture him and then take him to a battleground or a training area to train him up and fight other people, I mean, it just, just sounds like, what? why is this even happening? But it's massive already. Something on the order of 140 million daily active users, which is getting very close to what Twitter does. There's been apps on your phone for years that have worked with this. So Starbucks has done advertising campaigns and there's been um, other games you know, related to Halo that had uh, sort of mixed reality. Sometimes that's another phrase to use, mixed reality, where like something you do on a website or with a particular image that you scan with your camera app and it creates a, a, an animated moment. These are all kind of special little things that people have been experimenting with on mobile. Microsoft is making a huge bet for this with something called the HoloLens, which they demonstrated today at the World Partner Con Worldwide Partner Conference here in Toronto. 14,000 people watched as a Japan Airlines jet engine was essentially put on stage and like they did a, a demo of the fuel system. So they see mixed reality for things like enterprise use, like training and you know education and even like real estate. Your phone is a much smaller window into that mixed reality, which is why it's both more casual and perhaps more, more viral because there's more of them, way more of them.